Hey guys, so this week starts my family off with a Whole30. We are basically only changing a couple of things. Getting rid of sugar is one of the things which we already have pretty low sugar diet. And I guess the grains are a big deal like pastas and um, bread. We don't have a lot of bread, but we did have bread, you know, a couple times a week for sandwiches or something. And we would have pasta, you know, my other half, he would have, my hubs would have pasta every day for lunch because I made him pasta salad every Sunday. So now I'm making him a green salad, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, so we're just trying the whole 30 out for 30 days. I'm just curious to see how it works, how my energy levels feel. And it's one more step towards the ultimate goal of having our family eat as little processed foods as possible. It's kind of impossible, um, unless you're growing your own stuff and making your own stuff from scratch to be a hundred percent like zero process. Cause as my kids will argue, um, a lot of the meats you buy in the stores are processed, you know, they, they they get the animal and then they process it into bacon or whatever it is so technically what I mean is technically stuff that I'm eating is processed but it's not the processed food that's like pre-made processed frozen meals or boxed meals those kind of things are what I mean when I'm talking about processed foods I'm also trying to stay within a very frugal budget so I am saving my receipts and scanning them so that maybe after the 30 days I can get into like a little more um fine-tuning of how to eat a little healthier not necessarily whole 30 only doing that for 30 days but how to eat a little healthier on a tighter budget because I'm documenting how much everything costs and I know everything keeps raising but I know that if you start making more from scratch you can actually buy more quantity of you can have more quantity of food for less for less of a price and so it's a little harder I know it takes a lot more time and I know that I'm a married person with two people who have an income in a household I get it it's different for single parents believe me I've been a single parent much longer than I, than not um, so I'm trying to get back to the basics of when I was a single mom what kind of tips would help to help a single mom make the most out of her budget while eating closer to healthy and not increasing the time involved in things. I know as the kids get older, sometimes our schedule is easier, but I know my kids are now, two, my two kids that are still in the house, they both have jobs in two different areas. So my job as a mom running back and forth has just gotten really busy, which means I'm not doing as much client work. So I can actually focus on my videos and my blogging a little more to help other people out there. I am having my adult daughter check in on my walking course. I wanna do an update on my walking course, which is basically some goal setting strategies to make sure that you get up and walk every day, literally just a 15 minute walk every day. And so there's a lot of tips and tricks and strategies. Me sharing my, how I lost 40 pounds walking, I've gained 25 back, but I have a whole course on how you can literally just walk 15 minutes a day, increase your water a little bit, and then your life starts to feel a little bit better slowly. So between my walking course and then driving my kids around, I'm just gonna be blogging and videoing and maybe somewhere along the way I help someone. And yes, I'm in a parking lot downtown because it seems so much easier to have the natural light downtown then go home and try to be under the fake light with the dogs in the background and everything so i like recording in parking lots it's my favorite i'm not going to do captions on this video because most people aren't even looking at closed captions it's a very small amount let me know if you prefer me having captions because i know sometimes it's hard to understand me so i love y'all peace and love until next time